SHOT SHOW 2022. We decided to do one video, not one video every day, just one video, one conglomeration video of the whole show. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope it's not too long. A uh, little off show uh, shots and some shots from the show itself. So if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. If you have not done that already, hit that like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below on anything you'd like. All those things help the video and the channel to populate better here on YouTube. Thanks so much. Here we are heading to Blade Show. Heading to Vegas. Let's see what is that my blade show carry here. The original ATR, or at least this one, the one from Golden, Colorado. This titanium one. I don't know if it's the original, but probably my favorite one. One of my favorite spider coves. So yeah, gonna meet up with Spider Co. there at SHOT Show. Check out the new prototypes. The future of knives. Well, of Spider Co. knives. And uh, everybody else will be there. It's a uh, gun and knife wonder world. Something like, I don't know, 14 miles of booths. If you stop at each booth for like 11 seconds, you can see them all in four days. Something like that. Anyway, I'm going to be there in three days. It's actually going on right now, and I'm, well, not late. It was pre-planned to be there three days. Not all four days. I guarantee even after, even after three days, my legs are going to be so sore. It's a huge, huge show that but if you haven't been there if you didn't know that and even if you did know that but you haven't been there it's uh it's impressive everybody will tell you you know you can't fathom it till you get there another shot so show shot show i can't even say it carry that zuwata that spider crew that gold bug yeah, another one of my favorite spider coves. Kind of my subtle carry. That Tim's of water. Tip down only. No choice on this one. That coffin grip. Oh, here we are made it to Las Vegas made it to the room pretty quiet in this room I think some people's rooms are a little wilder than this one we have a, got a nice room here made it with our too much stuff probably it's only 
what are you thinking? I'm only here three days. I missed the day of it already. Oh, I wonder what happened today. Blade show. It's kind of a crazy, I mean, oh, I said blade show. Shot show. Jeez, what a drive. Um, shot show. What a crazy show. Because all in all, uh, you can't buy anything there. And you can't sell anything there. You can't buy anything and walk out with it there. It's just a bunch of meetings, a bunch of talk. Um, the meetings. Huh. I'm all just meetings. Yeah, pretty awesome meetings. The people, the meetings, that's what it's all about. I guess we could possibly make some orders, hopefully for the future. Talk about stuff like that. But it's just a weird show because if you have a booth, you can't really sell a bunch of stuff there. And if you want to buy stuff, you can't really walk out with a bunch of stuff there. But, um, it's still a good show. I think the freebies, maybe freebies. I got some extra room in this pack. Oh, there's some stuff in there already. Man, I'm going to try to get these boxes signed if I can. Hopefully. The big guys are there, the big wigs. I'm going to try to get those signed by the by the um, makers or inventor. Ah, the inventor of the knife. <laughs> they never say that, do they? The maker. Yeah, I'm trying to get those signed by the maker. Just having a good time actually with this Spyderco Vanquist pack. It's crazy how many pockets there are. How beefy it is, how big it expands out. Like, get in the top. Not even opening it. Of course, you can open it too. I'm not gonna do a whole review on this pack, so don't don't freak out. But oh yeah, you can fit just all kinds of things on this Vanquish pack. Of course, these are available directly from Spiderco. It's just all around. There's a pocket here. Like on this one, there's a pocket here in front. There's a pocket in back. And on the back side, there's a pocket there. There's a pocket. Oh, it's just on and on. It's got got the old school Samsonite. The old head. <laughs> God, I got this one at Kohl's. But it's holding up, by the way. That old Samsonite backpack from Kohl's. And it's got the old head patch on there. Our first one. So looking forward to the meetings, the people we might see tomorrow. Maybe Todd Big, or Sal Glesser. Let me see Enrique, Pena, maybe Leon Ma. I don't know. Just hoping to see, I don't know who I left out or who I named. I don't know why I named the people I did name, but um, yeah, people like that. Just hoping to have some fun meetings there. What SHOT Show's about, showing the new product, talking. This is SHOT Show. Um, survival food right here, peach nectar. <laughs> This is kind of a secret. I probably don't usually tell people about that, but it's a good combination right there, by the way. Uh, you ever tried it? I'm not going to say it out loud. Right there. Shh. That's a good combination. Not with this in it. Just those two. And, uh, well, that's, and then this is survival food for Shot Show. That's funny. Oh yeah, I got the, uh, the chest right there. Oh, that pocket went. Haven't used it in a little while. Haven't used it too much, really. That glow in the dark. Oh, it's not gonna glow yet.
up in the shot show. I think I found the main hall now. Just give you some perspective. One level of it. So there's four levels. Well, two main levels, another building, two more levels that we don't really go to. It's just huge. If I know what I'm looking for, just can't find it. It's like 10,555, so looks like I'm coming up over. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Sorry. Shaky camera work. Look at that. That's not the size of a, look at that. That thing's huge. Oh, I'd love that in my living room. Of course, my living room's not that big. Oh, that's pretty sweet right there. Look at that. Dragonflies. That 3D. Sign. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Oh, two of these. Oh, I could take two. Look at all those catalogs. I could take so many catalogs, I wouldn't even be able to walk out of here. Better get. Better get one or two. I'll oh, get two. I wonder if they kick me out of here if we took them all. Ooh, those bags. Whoa. That's a display case. Wonderful, wonderful world. Collection, what? Ooh. Endurance. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's called the Insight. More bags. They got like a bandit. <laughs> so many knives. Well organized. One more cabinet. Just the grand scale of this thing. Amazing. You can't go over that side. That they got their no photos over there, so I'm not going to go over there. As you can see, Eric over there. So that's cool. There's Eric. See they have that window, like. Window like the factory. Well, the place is made to look like the factory, so I'm gonna walk around back and just show you real quick. Cause uh, can't walk down that other side. Not with the camera on. Respect their prototypes and so forth. And they put the prototypes on display for you to see them, which is awesome. But no, you can't just photograph them. Check out the back of this display. It's made to look like the factory in Colorado. The factory in Colorado is all brick. Brick look. You pull up on the outside and you see that window in the factory. So this display is pretty sweet. I saw it one time before, now it's my second time. I was actually hoping they'd still have the same one. Of course, it probably costs quite a bit, so I don't think they're gonna throw it out. I hope they don't throw it out, my goodness. Put that right in my backyard. No. But yeah. Excellent, excellent. Find, found spider cub. I'm gonna head around the front. 
see if I can make any meetings here. Who will meet? Who will say hello to? And all that. Still at SHOT Show, I almost said Blade Show. We found the concept booth. And here, walked up and found Marshall Noble himself. Hey, here at how's Blade it going show. on YouTube? I mean Blade Show, SHOT Show. Yes. So what do you got? So we're here showing off the Cancent brand. They're only two, two and a half years old. And uh, we got a lot of their new designs, a lot of their tried and true designs. Some of the big ones that they're promoting this year is like the Corvid XL, this beast of a cleaver here. That thing is huge. Yeah, it's part of their economy line. So, you know, we got G10 scales. They operate in purple and jade and their light sand. They're coated black blade, all 154 cm, steel liners, deep carry pocket clip. So how much do these affordable knives run? So this one here has an MSRP of $111 for this piece. You don't find knives this big in that price range very often. I love green and black. And so then they got, if you're not into big knives, they got that little bitty mini Corvid. The Corvid mini. Yeah, that's a cool piece. Yep. And purple. Yep. Some other new designs that we've got that they're focusing on is the uh, Justin Linquist Reverie. This it's, one here is in the JG10. It's a front flipper? Top flipper. So it's hard to see, but you've actually got an almost muted out flipper at the top. So you can pull it over the top very easily or run your thumb over it and lock it out. Either way. Either way. And it's super smooth action. Justin Linquist is kind of trying to bring some of the traditional features in both blade shape, ergonomics, and the whole concept of a bolster and scale. But with some custom machining, the top flipper to bring a modern flair to it. Yeah, that's a cool looking design for sure. And then they come in all kinds of different materials. And Concept will always do that. All kinds of different blade finishes and materials. This is a new one, huh? This is the Prey It Out. This is uh, brand new for them. It's in a PVD coating, titanium carbonitride. Ester, uh, this one I believe is S35VN. Uh, it's got some nice satin finished pivot collars, flipper and thumb stud, nice milled pocket clip, snappy action lanyard hole in the back and that's their higher end versions they're yes second level their second level not quite their premium level and then this is new for them as well this will be offered in their premium level with damascus blade as well this is a nalu design called the entity in s35 vn and titanium nice flushed out the titanium backspace deep carry pocket clip of course, it's running on ceramic bearings like all their knives and ceramic detents. But this is a nice harpoon blade, good size for EDC. It's not too big, not too small. But you get a meaty blade without it just being obnoxious. So you're not Concept Knives. You're Marshall Noble. And why are you here in the Concept booth anyway? I know, I know they couldn't come from China, but... Well, Why would COVID, you be in their booth? COVID, it's it's kind of hard for them to come. 
I was close by. I'm one of their designers. I have the Goblin XL that just dropped in January. Every a lot of people loved the original Goblin, but not everybody's into small knives. And you're calling that a, a sheep's foot, or what do you? Yeah, this what do you is a modified it? sheep's foot, and uh, it was. The design was originally intended to open one of three ways. You can either slow roll it out with your thumb, spidey flick, or front flipper it. And that's pretty popular, the spidey flick. Yes. Every, you know, people say that and they don't even have spider coats. So, yeah, that's a popular way to open knives. Yes. Those big, those are big boys right there. Oh, yeah. How many finishes are these coming in? So... The Goblin is currently available in six versions. We've got the one here with the compass rose and the bronze anodizing. They've got an all blacked out version. They've got another version with weight reduction holes drilled all the way through the scale. Oh. They've got one with grooves machined into the scale. And then they've got a bronze and blue with a satin finished blade in the small and in the large. And then in the large, they also do an all blacked out. And then in the small, they do the black hardware with the black clip, the black uh, backspacer, orange peeled uh, titanium handles, and then a nice stone wash blade. And this one's orange peel with the black blade? This one's orange peel with the black blade. And again, it's that titanium carbonitride coating. Show us that clip one more time because if, if somebody hasn't seen this knife, that clip, is kind of the, one of the first things you notice. It's just different. And this clip, is, it's different in more ways than just aesthetics. So when I designed this, I designed it for a tactical pocket, not jeans. And so everybody's like, well, it doesn't carry very deep. You have that coming out in jeans, it'll carry like that. But in your regular tactical pants, it, oh, it almost... Has an angle vanishes because of the way the clip is machined yeah for an angled angled pocket well that's pretty tricky i had no idea i always wear jeans so yeah so i kind of designed it with the the tactical operator in mind as far as how it would carry it would be low profile because it'll also work on suit pants that way since it was originally a small knife it could be very discreet in a pair of suit pants. Yeah, I could see that little one in the suit pants. Right. How about that big guy? Yeah, with the big guy, it would pull your pants down. <laughs> but that's why they have tactical belts. Right. But the the big guy, the same angle works because your tactical pants and suit pants have similar pocket angles. Well, thanks for showing us those concept knives. Thanks for showing us your design in particular. Thank you. Otherwise, yeah, concept always coming out with crazy materials. Look at that one. They're an excellent you know, company. Yeah, everything. they're starting to experiment with printing on the composites. They do a really good job. I've been really happy with my working relationship with them. And uh, I, I think concept is only going to grow and have a bright future. Their quality is really top notch. Thanks, Marshall. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your show. Well, here we are. My day two. Day three, really. Of SHOT Show. Here in Las Vegas. Yeah, yesterday was a nice day. Saw quite a few people and also noticed a lot of people didn't come. I mean, we knew a lot of people weren't coming from China or a lot of people weren't still coming from Europe as we're living in COVID-22 or Fluvid-22 as some have called it. But we'll see what is in store today. Meeting with Spyderco today. Uh, that's the only meeting I really have set up. Yeah, I went by yesterday, Wicked Edge. And, uh, well, they weren't there. It was my first stop, really. But I tried to stop by a lot of other booths today. So a lot of good experiences yesterday. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. And 
We'll see you later. So big. I think my right hip, maybe my right foot, my right leg, it's all right for some reason. But uh, yeah, I think my right leg is feeling it already. Walking over to the main, I guess, display areas from the first hotel. Well, the second hotel. I don't know which one's first. But yeah, walking over to the main area. It's four floors over there. Really, we only go on two, so I don't know. It's hard to say how many booths are really here because the booths take up more than one spot. Look at that, it says 80,000. Crazy. Yeah, the, I don't know. I don't have one of those things on my wrist, those things that tell you how far you walk, but the one lady said she walked 13 miles yesterday, so yeah, right leg is, it's getting there. It's getting there. Or the Riyadh booth, or and look, there's Leon Ma. Of course, he's working. With all these new, new knives out. You never saw his kitchen okay. knives. Put on by White River knives right there. Good morning, John. How are you? <laughs> his magnetic displays. These things are like from Planet Venus. Bingo. It's almost too smooth. Ballast songs actually might come out. It's right on the edge. It's good though. Of course, I'm not a ballast song flipper, so don't don't hold your breath. But yeah, these were in the catalog. Jeez, a long time ago. And look, there it is. Let's see if I can. Oh, I got it. Yeah, pretty easily manipulated and I'm not even a ballast song guy. I might be holding it backwards but I didn't cut myself. So look at that. Riot made ballast song. And you saw Leon has his new lineup. I took like 9,800. So from there on I was like Oh. Fun to see the knives in person. Maybe Leon will let us let us get a talk with them here in a minute. But he's a pretty popular guy. You can see they're setting up to film him right now. I think they're gonna film the back of his. They're, they're gonna hopefully he'll turn around. But yeah, hopefully we'll get a moment with Leon, Mr. Famous. Was still here at Shot Show and walked up and saw QSP knives. Yep. So knife that caught my attention. <laughs> of course, I know these QSP knives already, and they got some new stuff out. Some really nice materials. Yeah, check it out. It's going to be aluminum foil, copper foil. You know, so you're going to have that topographical map type of section, but it's not going to be as heavy as something that's going to be copper. A new Osprey out now, uh, 14C28. You got brass copper, you got micarta, you got some of uh, the uh, shredded carbon fiber laminate. 
Uh, so that's going to be some cool ones there. And that one's out now, available to dealers. And QRSP comes out with, well, obviously, all kinds of materials. Yeah. Like on, what is it, the pink one here? Look at all, Look at all these versions. And if you always want blue jean micarta, well, guess what? That's going to match right in. Oh, it's not blue jeans, but it's the right color. They got wood ones, carbon fiber ones, metal ones. So, yeah. And green mind you, we got the soda out the titanium. If you really need your M390 or your S35, we got that as well. Yeah, QSP has the, the more budget knives. And then, of course, they have their higher end line down here as well. Like he's just said, these M390 knives. But that's what you usually see on our website, those little bit more expensive full titanium knives. Yeah, QSP can do them all. The low end ones, well, low end, more affordable ones, yeah. and also the higher end ones. Yeah, we still got a good OEM uh, business going too, so if anybody needs design work done, you can get that done for you. Well, I've had my QSP knife for almost 20 hours now, <laughs> and the blade is holding up very well. Of course, all I did was flip it in my hotel room, but uh, that's pretty normal. A lot of people run flip it with their knives. So, what, what did I get? One of those hawks? You want yeah, to pull one yeah, out? You got an, uh, ebony hawk. Yeah, let's see one of those. Yeah. Just real quick. Isn't that ebony wood. Yeah. And I don't do a lot of wood knives, but I, I like ebony. Well, I'm into guitars too. It's like a fretboard right there. Look at that. Well, Dave, we just uh, thanks for showing us real quick the QSP knives. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping I'm in. Sure, we'll be putting some of these on our website here soon. Uh, I really like this Osprey and the Hawk. All right, we'll see you next time. Yep, take care. Just A little shot show update. End of day two. What's been happening at shot show? Yeah, I got... I got one of the autographs I wanted to get on that Manix 2. Just wanted to get the designer's name. And he signed it for me. Eric signed it. And, of course, I had it in my bag. And part of the signature wore off. <laughs> signature wore off. I don't know. I got one more day. Just to wrap things up tomorrow, um, Friday. I think a lot of people, they don't stay the whole day. Well, if you have a booth, you have to get out of there too. So they start wrapping up a little early, I think. Maybe he'll just sign one more. All he needs is just a spider coat lid like this, just outside of the box. It doesn't have to be this part. <laughs> well, I got one signature. These ones didn't get signed. Sal didn't make it this time. Um, what else happened? Bumped into Women Carry Knife. She gave me some stickers. Three sweet stickers, really. She's got her own YouTube channel. Big, way bigger than me. So, um, well, let's see what else happened. Bumped into well, yeah, let's see if you guys recognize. Well, it'll say his name on here too, I think. But I like my lab. I like gold. Oh, I really likes gold. I like my like gold detecting or whatever. And uh, love Curse of Oak Island. So, Curse of Oak Island. Yeah. Uh, walked over to my lab and then to my. Chagrin, or is that what you call it, or to my delight. I was pretty amazed to see Gary Drayton. So yeah, uh, shook Gary, well, can't say that. 
we both had our masks on and six feet away we waved at each other a little bit more than that pretty cool meet gary drayton another famous guy from one of these tv shows now that tends to happen like uh, forged in fire if you ever see mm -hmm. Doug Barkata out in public, and he'll have people all following him around trying to get to him. Uh, well, Gary didn't have his his um, bodyguard there, but uh, he probably doesn't need one. What else happened? Oh, I did get, you can't buy stuff there, but they can give you stuff, and they did. Somebody gave me something, that QSP knife and Pretty happy with it. I've been happy with QSP knives for quite a while and certainly hadn't had them well in the store, so to speak. And uh, see what happens here in the near future because they're quality knives. Cool saying, better knife, better life. It's probably real. Show you this thing real quick. This one's the Hawk. Oh, yeah, this one's the Hawk. Oh, and if you saw the earlier part of the video, he did show it there um, on the video earlier, but not this exact one. It's that ebony scale. Ebony wood. Is that dumb stud? Oop. As I cut my finger in half. Oh, there's a little oil there. It's hard to film backwards, so to speak. And then... Uh, flipper tab here. So the Hawk, I don't think it's the brand new one, but it's still a nice one. Oh, there's the oil's off. No, I put my fingerprint there instead. If that looks any better. Yeah, that QSP knife. I'm gonna check it out. Got my Ebony Hawk wood knife. Well, I haven't had a lot of wood knives, um, I say in my adult life. Only a few more when I was a kid, I suppose. So that's how SHOT Show's going. Mm, my right leg's actually feeling a little bit better than it did this morning. I don't know how I put another 13 miles on it. At least, I don't know, I walked around like crazy today. Being that, went to Hinder Knives and, well, they weren't there. Let's see, went to... Well, not to call people out, but, you know, it's real. Um, went to a lot of these places, and then they weren't even there. Like I said, Wicked Edge was my first stop. Nope, not there. Let's see what else. Well, a few other, other few other of my destinations ended up not coming to the show. So, overall, uh, pretty good show. There's a lot of people there. I, I don't know, let's estimate there's 50,000 people instead of 100,000. I don't know. I'm sure I'm way off. But that's just the gist of it. Um, maybe it was 70% of the people that would normally be there or something like that. I just said 50. So 50 to 70%. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a real stat coming out. But that's my estimation of it. Guesstimation of it. I like to use that term. Since I was a little kid. Also got that cure ad from Women Carry Knives and the chocolate. Well, I ate the chocolate, so thank you. One more day to wrap things up, say our last goodbyes, or our first hellos if I haven't seen you. And I haven't seen a lot of people that I did see, say, two years ago. I think a lot of people, you know, didn't come to the SHOT Show, but the people that were there, uh, once again, great meetings. So, awesome, awesome stuff. Here we are, final day SHOT Show. I can actually finally say it after being here for three days. Quit calling it Blade Show after three days. Uh, that's pretty wild. 
almost knowing our way around now, if you can say that, but I can't really say that. I think I'm going in the right direction. That's all I can say right now. Just the last day, you know, finishing up, I guess, what, a couple of loose ends. Not loose ends, just, you know, saying our last goodbyes. Our last hellos, if I haven't seen you yet. And, uh, oh, sorry, just looking around. Not looking at the camera, just keep looking around. I don't wanna walk in anybody. Actually pretty empty here. Last day, I guess the last few hours or four hours or something like that left but yeah most of the vendors are still here of course they'll stay here to the end but it's a little easier to walk around today and i'm gonna find out if i'm going the right direction here in a minute oh yeah i am so it's been pretty great so far hope you're enjoying the video came out pretty long but i decided to do conglomeration video instead of like four or five videos one per day maybe that would have been more fun Hope you like it. Still walking across the bridge of Shep Show, but I was just thinking about that pocket clip carry. Just showing my pocket clip carry for the day. If you know that nice, put it down there in the comments. Come over to this one. My pocket clip carry for the day. If you know that now, put it down there in the comments. One more, I guess. Not a pocket clip. I know pocket clip carry. If you know that now. Actual little bit of rain in Las Vegas today. And back in the main hall. Just uh, show you a little bit more of actual inside of the show. I've showed a lot of things besides the inside of the show so far. So just show the inside of the show now. Funny thing is, I realized, see I came in right there and Spyderco is right there. If you can see them, they're right there. Of course, I walked about two miles to get there the second day. And then, uh, you know, like some things are right next to each other and um, I, I didn't, you don't realize that until later. <laughs> Yesterday, I saw two things right next to each other and technically it took me about 45 minutes to get there. <laughs> And they were right next to each other. It's it's funny like that. Of course, I'm probably losing my brain on the last day. Or maybe I'm just finally getting it. Because I finally know my way around. Or almost know my way around. I literally can't believe that uh, Spyderco was, was that close to where I came in. And Well, maybe we'll remember for next year. Next year, 2023, there'll be, uh, there'll be a SHOT Show. Yes, sir. I'm sure. Everyone will come. So that was it, SHOT Show 2022. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope it wasn't too long. We, uh, the last day there was less people for sure, which was kind of nice. Made it actually more of a people day, meaning less people and more personalized people day. At least for me, got a couple cool close-ups of some knives there on the last day. Also got some 
real meetings, not important meetings, just off important meetings with, geez, a lot of makers, really. Um, Sean Houston was there. Um, well, saw, oh my goodness. Um, so many people last day, I'll put a couple pictures there at the end of the video. There was a lot of people that weren't there. Sure, Wicked Edge wasn't there. Um, Tormek wasn't there. We're gonna start sharpening in the store. So I was looking forward to seeing those, you know, things in person instead of watching the videos of them. But we'll just have to make our decisions. I'm sure they can help us over the phone. That's what they left there in the booth to call us. Rick Hinder, nope. It was not there. Um, oh, geez. What did I see? Uh, I saw Tim, um, Chris Reeves knives, but didn't talk to him. Saw one of his salespeople, and, well, they had beautiful knives in the cabinet. None to, well, you can't buy anything there, but they didn't have any knives to sell. They don't need any dealers, and they don't have any knives available. So that, I mean, the conversation didn't, that was about it. And, Nothing to talk about, really. Protect knives went to Protect knives, and same thing. I mean, great knives, but there's nothing available, and they don't need any dealers. So it was in a conversation like super fast. So I mean, those things were kind of a, a letdown, I suppose. Um, some of the people that didn't come and. Some of the people who I guess, I mean, they're just completely overwhelmed because they make great knives, they're popular, and uh, there's nothing to talk about. So did get to talk to other, some other really cool people. Marshall Noble uh, there at Concept Knives. I mean, he was super fun to talk to. Um, Paul Alexander over at Spyderco. You know, he was really fun to talk to. Um, the guy running the sharp maker from Europe. Uh, he's really fun to talk to. The European accent. And um, that was a lot of fun. Got my ATR Titanium sharpened by Spider Co. At SHOT Show. And they did it on the uh, on the sharp maker. The oldest sharp sharpener they have. And arguably still the best one. The first one. Well, it's not the first iteration. You know, they do their... Mm, you know, modifications. So, but it's still the original Sharp Maker. Possibly still the best one for touching up the edge. Uh, but yeah, for full sharpening, was thinking about that Wicked Edge or the Tormek. Well, if you have any opinions, you leave it there in the comments. Maybe the TS Prof. It's a consideration. Yeah, bumped into a lot of other people walking around. Saw a knife center there, but didn't really, I guess, I don't know, we were busy or something. Didn't really say hi to each other. Saw River's Edge Cutlery there, and they even, uh, oh, they didn't sock me in the stomach, but I was going to sock them in the arm. They came right up to me, and we got our picture in and everything. And, uh, oh, I saw Jeff, Jeff, um, I think he's Lawler. Oh, I could say his last name wrong, sorry. Jeff there, um, from Cutlery, uh, Rivers, uh, Rivers Edge Cutlery, sorry, Cutlery Shop, and, um, yeah, I did, I walked right up to him and kind of socked him a little bit and said hello, otherwise, um, geez, we were all just working, a lot of people there, some good crews there, and it was cool to say hello, see people in person, it's always nice, like I said, that's what these shows were about. No huge dinners or anything for me. Just a uh, couple, you know, normal dinners. Sometimes these shows are also known for the dinners. Hope you enjoyed today's video of SHOT Show 2022. Overall, one video for all three, well, four days. Three days for me. If you did, please like it. Go ahead and comment and subscribe if you haven't done that. Oh, they say... Hit the bell. See you next time.